What's up everyone, this is Mole Gaming here, and today I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation external hard drive. So I actually just recently purchased a PlayStation 2 terabyte game drive, and I want to kind of do like an unboxing slash review and then to actually test it out on the PlayStation itself, and yeah, basically just take it from there. Now, so for those of you who aren't aware, you can actually have an external hard drive for the PlayStation 4, and you can technically use this for the PlayStation 5 as, as well, so that's a key information that I want you to keep in your mind, <laughs> which could because we will be making a few more videos on this in the new Near future now first we're gonna kind of unbox this and just take it from there but just the boxing itself you can see it's a two terabyte drive is literally official and certified by Sony itself so it's literally with the PlayStation logo there are other drives that you can use but this one again works the best it's certified it's literally for the PlayStation 4 and you just take it from there so you can see uh, everything that it comes with you can use everything within it uh, it comes in English and Spanish and it tells you like capacity for 50 plus games and one two terabyte drive uh, I don't know if that's completely true like games like Skyrim and Call of Duty they're like 100 gigs each so you could probably have like two, uh, 20 games maybe or in theory you could have 50 games again it depends on the type of game that you're putting on this drive um, so yeah let's uh let's actually unbox this and then take it from there so i'm going to unbox it from the top all right so let's just see what comes out from the box and we'll take all that information one step at a time. So there's nothing else in the box. Uh, the items that it came with, it comes with a booklet, it comes with a warranty, it talks about like all that other inf usual mumbo jumbo, usually don't read this too much. Uh, we have like our handy guide over here that talks about what this is, how this works, basically what you need to do to connect it, and then it tells you exactly what to do. And again, I will make another video on how to do this exactly step by step. Uh, or maybe, you know what, we, we'll, we'll probably do this in here as well. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, because I don't think I'll be able to test it out without actually doing that. So let's see. So here's the drive itself. Um, opening it up. All right. So it obviously comes with a wire. This is like an official wire that it comes with. You can see it's a tad bit different. Uh, this looks like a micro USB, but I'm not sure what exactly this is. So I'm assuming it's a special wire for this. Uh, and it's probably to be like able to speed it up. So you can see like that wire, it's... It's a little separate and so let's just open it all right boom this is basically the drive it actually has a very nice sleek feel to it it kind of feels like the ps4 I'm kind of touching it uh you can see there's like a seagate possibly logo in the back uh, serial number hard drive number all that other good stuff uh, that's the seagate logo there and then you have your playstation logo here i'm assuming that's the light that turns on when it's connected um it's really nice it has a really nice sleek feel to it again there's nothing else to it currently and that's where you connect the wire and boom we're gonna go to the next step and then take it from there all right boom so we're gonna basically go to next steps here so i have the drive right here i'm gonna i have put the wire inside the playstation 4 i'm gonna plug it in so you can see the light turns on uh you can actually even feel the drive moving inside i'm assuming it's working <laughs> stuff is happening within the drive so let's see uh so I, I don't know if you can see, you might have to focus on it. It says there's an error that popped up. The USB uh, <coughs> storage device file is unsupported. And again, this was un this was expected, and the drive actually said that, hence why I said I don't think I can make a separate video. I'm just gonna continue doing a part of the same thing. So it says it over here on like what to do. It's a little out of focus. Let's see if I can focus it over here. Yep, as you can see, it says go to device storages, game drive, extended storage. So I'm gonna actually show you how to do this. We're gonna go to settings. We're going to go to devices. We're gonna go hover over to USB storage devices. And over here, you can see it says PlayStation 4 game drive. Now that's what we're gonna be focusing on. It says Seagate, uh, it says 2.1 terabyte. Uh, and then over here, and you can see it says format as extended storage. Now this is what we're trying to do. It says the PlayStation 4 game drive. It says Seagate, the format is unknown because again, I've always said this before, when you have a USB cable or whatever, you need to have a certain formatting for these things. If you do not, it will obviously not work. So we're gonna do this, I, th I believe it's gonna do either XFAT or FAT32. Uh, and as you can see, it's just gonna talk about what it's gonna do. The device will be formatted as extended storage. Let's let it format, it shouldn't take long, probably a couple of seconds. Yes, that's fine, there's nothing on it, just formatting it. We're gonna let it format, boom. It is now formatted, uh, let's see, let's see what it did it format to. As you can see, it actually took about 200, a little less than 200 megabytes. Uh, it doesn't, it just says format PS4, that's very interesting. It doesn't give a specific format. Uh, maybe we can play around with it when we go to the computer and just plug it in there and see. But overall, as you can see, it literally just took about 200 megabytes. I know it doesn't say, <laughs> use space says 156 kilobytes, but it's possible that the other storage is like other, where it's specifically the PlayStation system itself that lets it use it 
as an external drive. That's why I said there's only certain drives that work. This is obviously by PlayStation itself, hence why this definitely works. But the other ones are a little bit trickier. They may or may not work. Uh, I can do some research for you guys to like let you know. Um, but just to give you an example, like over here now you can do manage content and you can see this is what's currently on my PlayStation 4. I have about like 200 gigs on the PlayStation, 272 gigs used uh, and there's only 50 kilobytes uh, allegedly on this external drive. And again, I can move items from here to the other one. I can also call delete items from here as well. And let's just say, um, um, I'm, I'm going to actually see. Let's see. I don't want to move the games yet. I want to make a separate video for that, uh, which is why I said keep that in mind because this is going to be used for the PlayStation 5 itself. So I don't know if I actually have any gameplay. What do I have? Okay, I have this screenshot. So let's say copy to USB storage device. So see, technically this doesn't copy over from this section because it's not considered a USB storage device. This is considered a actual external hard drive. So this is like an actual PlayStation 4 drive itself. You can put your games in here directly. You can install games in here directly. So this, again, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, I do want to make a separate video on that, on how to manage that. But again, if you want to ever access it, it's from devices uh, in the settings session, devices, USB storage device. And then over here, we do what we need to do. And again, I will make a separate video on this uh, shortly after this one and we'll take it from there. But guys, overall, uh, I'm extremely excited to use this. Uh, I have uh, seen this used on my uh, friend's PlayStation 4, hence why I got it. He has the old PlayStation 4. Uh, I do have the uh, Pro, which I have one terabyte drive in he has the half a half a terabyte one hence why he ended up buying this because he needed more space just he just only had like two games and his system was like clogged up he's like this is stupid <laughs> i was like i agree i agree uh but overall it's extremely cool i would highly recommend you guys to buy it purchase it it's definitely going to be needed for the playstation 5 i will make a video on why that's needed uh shortly after this one so be stay in tune for that so definitely subscribe to the channel um but yeah if you want to purchase this i'll leave a link in the description below you can purchase it from amazon it's 90 dollars. it is a lot but it's two terabytes and again it's going to be extremely worth it and worthwhile for you guys especially if you're going to go into next gen asap which is what i'm going to be doing and we're going to see a lot of videos of that in november uh once next gen is out hopefully november <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping expectations same as playstation 4 um so yeah uh, if you guys overall like the video please smash that like button helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and if you have any comments questions concerns please let me know in the comment section below uh more than happy to help you out and guide you through any comments questions that you have other than that mo gaming out Peace.